Hello drummers and other creatures, it's me Joe again and I'm back with yet another scintillating drum video. Today we're going to be looking at some reasonably contemporary disco with Pharrell and Daft Punk. The song is Get Lucky and we've got a groove played by the amazing Omar Hakim and uh, it's good to know that Mr Hakim has left even those beginners among us with something to learn and play. Here's a quick sample of what the groove sounds like. Before we get cracking on this, I just wanted to remind you to subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you enjoy this video and be aware of the fact that I offer one-on-one -on -one drum tuition so I can help you with all sorts of issues you may be having via the magic of the internet. So check the description below and you can find out how to contact me there. So the groove. As I said, this is a disco beat and it's an eight bar phrase basically where mostly we're playing one particular four on the floor beat. A four on the floor beat is what we call it when we play the bass drum on all four quarter notes, meaning if I count one and two and three and four and the bass drum is going to be on one, two, three, four. And then we play a regular kind of pattern hi-hat on the eighth notes one and two and three and four and and the snare backbeat on the two and four. So your basic four on the floor sounds a bit like this. When you're playing this type of groove, a sort of dancey, poppy sound, you want to play the cymbals with the tip of the stick just on the bow of the cymbals. A couple of centimetres into the hi-hats usually works well, and then you get a nice, tight and crisp sound, which is all you need for most of this groove. And we want to distinguish that from uh, playing the cymbal in a way that a lot of rock musicians do, which is with this sort of shaft of the stick or the, the taper of the stick against the edge of the cymbals. So I'll give you a quick demo of the stick just on top of the cymbals there, and then I'll contrast it with the, the more accented sound that you'd hear in rock. And we want to keep the tight, crisp sound. Now we are going to use the, the accented sound on the edge of the cymbals uh, a little bit in this groove, but most of the time it's that tip of the stick on top of the cymbals. And also bear in mind how hard you press on the uh, hi-hat pedal will affect the sound. And if, if you push down too hard on the closed hi-hats, you'll get this kind of honky nasal and choked sound. So you need your foot to just have the right amount of pressure to allow the, the hi-hats to kind of breathe a little bit. So it's not too tight. Again, I'll demonstrate that a little bit. I'll give you kind of maximum pressure pressure and then a little bit less pressure and hopefully you'll hear the sound. I hope that makes sense. So that's your basic four to the floor groove and while you're working on that think about how the hi-hat sounds by applying those ideas there tip of the stick, not too much pressure on the cymbal. So now we have our bog standard four to the floor dance beat, let's turn it into the Get Lucky Groove by adding the hi-hat embellishments. The first of which we're going to play for three bars and all we have to do, it's very simple, is add a hi-hat note on the R of the four. So we're going to be counting one and two and three and four and up and we're adding an extra hi-hat there. This is how it works. That's it. 
for an uh. I'm adding that with my left hand, and it's very similar, you know, you'll have played beats like this with a sort of funky extra snare drum note, which might have been a ghost note or a heavier note on the forana like that. So you may very well have already played a groove that's quite similar to that, except it's on the snare and you didn't realise something like this. And so on and so on, right? All we're doing is we're taking the left hand up to the hi-hat. Now, you could uh, ask why would you not just keep your right hand there and play an extra note, but uh, well, I, don't, I don't want to get too much into the subject really, but it, it kind of helps you keep the flow, and in a way it's easier to keep nice crisp sound there. And notice that when I'm playing the hi-hat on the uh of the four, I am digging in there a little bit and creating an accented sound. Not too much, again, using the, uh, the taper of the stick or the, the shoulder of the stick, you might call it, on the edge of the cymbal. So we get that little extra bite. Again, one more listen. For the first fill, we're going to add an accent on the hi-hat on the E of the three. So we've got one and two and three E and four and. And then we're going to open the hi-hat for a nice pea soup sound on the and of four. And so it's a bit like this. I'll, I'll do it without the bass drum, just so you can notice the hands. And when we're playing that particular accent on the 3E, we're going to dig in a little bit more than we did on the uh, 4R that I originally showed you in the, the main beat. So here's what the first four bars of the sequence sound like played together at a slow tempo. For the second little fill, we're going to be opening the hi-hat twice. We're going to be playing a pea soup on the and of three, the three and as I like to call it, and the and of four, or the four and. And then we're going to be playing extra hi-hat for E and, okay? So, um, well, I'll demonstrate it hands only. The first thing you might have noticed about that is that instead of my left hand playing the snare, my right hand is playing the snare. That allows me to facilitate the 4E and pattern. If I try to play uh, with the left hand there, it would be difficult to get both sticks onto the hi-hat and keep that sort of alternating 16th note vibe. Now, again, there's nothing saying that you couldn't just go 4E and and play uh, the snare with your left hand and the E and with your right hand with, with two strokes. But again, you get sort of particularly nice clean sound and feel by uh, bringing the two hands up to the hi-hat. And this is kind of a topic I could go into uh, at some length about and uh, show you how to develop that at some point. Maybe I'll make a video about that uh, at some point in the future. But in the, in the meantime, try and get used to that. Here's an example of that one bar played, this time with the bass drum in, but at a slow tempo. have to keep an eye on how accurately you move your left foot to get as crisp a possible sound on those pea soups so they open and close and there'll be a little tendency maybe to be a little bit sloshy uh, especially on the 4E uh, and the tendency might be to let the left foot kind of anticipate a little bit and start letting go of the hi-hat a little bit early and you'll lose the kind of clarity and the articulation of the open hi-hat sound occurring exactly on the and of four and not on the, the E. So look out for that and that's one of those things where practicing really slowly and paying attention to what you're doing is hugely beneficial. So let's put that all together. I'm going to play the second sort of four bar phrase there with that fill in it now. Again at a slow tempo just a couple of times so that you can see what it sounds like.
So now let's have a listen to the whole eight bar phrase played at a slower tempo so you can hear how the whole thing comes together. There you go, that's the main groove for Get Lucky by Daft Punk with Pharrell, Omar Hakim's beautiful disco groove that anybody can learn how to play. I hope you found this useful, informative, easy to follow, interesting and entertaining and so on and so forth. Please let me know in the comments section below and uh, if you'd like to see me cover any other subjects, uh, let me know. Or you can get in touch, my contact details are at the bottom. So whether you'd like some tuition one-on-one -on -one, or whether you'd like to just uh, suggest something I could do with my videos in the future, I'm interested in hearing from you. Uh, meanwhile, I think it's time for you to go off and practice.